Francis, I think, has such a commitment to grounding as much of the movie as he possibly can in practical locations and real human experience. And it always comes down to, you know, finding the authenticity and the honesty in those moments. And we always say, well, even though some of the things that happen, you might get attacked by some, you know, crazed mutant from the Capitol, but what, how would you how would you react if that really did happen to you? Not if it happened to you in a movie, but if it really did happen to you. And, um, you know, the reliance on practical locations, the reliance on things like creating an actual hovercraft and bringing it in with the crane instead of doing it all on green screen. I think every time there was a choice to make that felt more honest, that was always the choice France would make. Well, Suzanne Collins, I think, has written a cast of very complex characters, both male and female. Um, you know, I think in this movie we have the good fortune of adding, you know, two very important female characters, both sitting at the table, and um, that they're, again, they're fully dimensional characters who um, are complex and surprising and um, not, not easily uh, quantified um, and not def defined by their relationship to men, which mm -hmm. is a refreshing yeah. change of pace. They want what we want. They love the books. They want them to be faithfully adapted. They want them to be, to make them feel, they want the movies to make them feel the way the books made them feel. Um, and they just, they want us to not screw it up. They want us to do our jobs well. Um, and I don't think that any one particular thing that this person or that person wants or that a bunch of them want, ultimately, they all want the same thing. They just want us to do justice to great material, and that's what we try to do.